Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. What we're taking a look at is Iron Factory, their IFEX31 Dube. Or Dube. Not really, not really sure on how to pronounce that. The translation or pronunciation that I looked up was Dube, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and go with. This is, of course, their homage to the IDW Transformers comic character Tarn, part of the Decepticon Justice Division. He measures two. Four inches on the dot it looks like and as you can see the detail is damn good I actually like the silhouette of it better than the mastermind creations that reformatted line not that that one's a bad figure I just like a beefier tarn you know so he comes with his double blaster the one that goes on his forearm as well as a couple of extra hands here these two are just open hands as well as those two being I guess fists technically, but they have the holes in them, 5mm peg holes in order to uh, hold weapons. Now he doesn't come with any weapons that are made for being held with hands, but all these weapons and things like that are interchangeable, so it's pretty cool. Alright, now one feature that is cool about him, and surprised the heck out of me on a figure this small, his mask is removable. Okay. Let me actually tilt it so that you can see his face a little bit better. To me, just because of the head shape and the face itself looks pretty similar to their Wings of Tyrant, the Seekers, Starscream. But that's just how Tarn Unmasked looks. The Flame Toys version with the removable mask actually looks about exactly the same, just a bit more detailed. So we're gonna go ahead and put that mask back on. It's a single peg, it's a slit, so just finding that, and the mask is very thin, so it's not like fragile thin, but in terms of holding it, my hands are a bit bigger, so kind of hard, but there we go, taps in securely, once it does tab, we'll get these out of the way, we'll look at some of his articulation, so you saw a preview of the head, Blocked off by these big trap shoulder pieces, treads, whatever you want to call them. But he does have, technically have, even though he can't use it, 360 degree head articulation. The mass blocks it. Good up and down range, or at least up. Shoulders here, even though there are these big tread pieces, can still do a good outward swing. 360 when it comes to the front back swing. Bicep swivel is actually at the elbow. Now, single jointed elbow, but goes past 45 degrees, which is cool. Rotation of the wrist, non-articulated fingers. 360. Waist swivel. Lots of ab crunch. Guys like me who like posing them like that. So, outward swing. Forward. Backwards, which is really impressive because a lot of toys nowadays with back skirts and stuff like that, you just don't see that. 360 on the thigh. All right. It looks like a double jointed. Yeah, it is double jointed. That first one was just kind of tight. There's that. Ankle tilt in the front of the foot. And there is separate movement in the front of the foot, but it only goes down. The front, it doesn't do that like forward, upward that a lot of them do. It stops because of this piece right here. So it's like it has it, but it's not really useful, if that makes sense. Now, just getting in, into a pose, it should be able to do an Iron Man pose. This is my first time messing with it. This is fresh out of the box. Took a picture for the title graphic, but it's about all the playtime that I've had with it. focus correctly there superhero landing pose and let's do something utilize that tilt in the front of the foot there
-hmm. There's that. Let's utilize one of these alternate hands here. We'll do the left one. Since his mask comes off, let's do something where he's holding the mask. And again, the mask, it's just thin, so it's hard for him to get a proper grasp on it as well, or have a good position. Okay, there's that. Let's look at his alt mode. And here we go. Realized I forgot to give you guys a roundabout. Show sure you guys the back side of him. Pretty clean stuff. I mean, it's a Cybertronian alt mode and stuff like that, so they get a lot more leeway than the Earth modes, but it looks good. I think that just front and back, this is a good looking damn figure, especially for a Legends Piece toy. Now getting this guy transformed has removed that. Double blaster there, those antennas, get those straight forward. The face, you just want that pointed forward. And before I do that, remember, these two pieces right here because we're about to slide those up in a second all right so moving the chest up from there it wants you to get those pointed back at the thigh not the waist so just turn the legs around 180 again at the thigh so from there it has you turn the figure around but it's easier just to do it from the front because you have to take these two pieces they're like half of the inside treads and turn them up all right get some room there boom boom so you have that okay and then get the chest back up from there what I want you to do it gives you space for these little levers here. Bring those all the way around. So that's what you got. All right. Now, turning this piece back around, it has you from there. Now that those levers are down, take the whole fist, rotate it back down again. And be mindful of these pieces. Um, they don't feel fragile, but they are pretty thin, so you don't want to break those hinges or whatever, because then you're literally without a figure. That's no good. All right. And it has you bring these fists back, like so. All right. And then it has you bring them down again at the actual elbow, like so. So you've got like a zigzag thing going, boom. Boom. Okay. From there, it has you actually turn it at the waist. So now the feet will be facing forwards, but the waist backwards. All right. And that's another one of those ones you could do out of order if you want. So those tread parts, get that out of the way. It's having you put them back down. And then it's having you bring that chest piece the rest of the way forward. Okay. These two pieces on the side have side hinges here. Oh, bring those forward. One. And they kind of slide around the treads. Two. Okay. Now I am wondering why this isn't going all the way around. These two pegs here at the top seem to be blocking it for some reason.
And I'm certainly looking at the instructions and seeing. I'm going to look at the, oh, okay, it's supposed to be a downward slant like that. All right, so we are on the right track. Just wanted to make sure. Now these feet, flip back, flip back, pretty tight on mine. And then it says to take the feet, flip them up, flip them up. All right, so you got something like that. And from there, take it, flip it over, take it, flip it over. So you got something like that. Something like that. Now there are pegs right here that peg into the elbows. So one, two, okay. There's a peg right there to peg them together. And then there's those two pieces right there. Okay. Bring these knees up. So we can sit flat like so. From there, flip these pieces back and they peg in right over there. So let's make sure we're pegged in. Make sure we're pegged in. Boom, boom. Make sure everything's straightish. Okay, boom, boom, boom. This, get those aligned. All right. And from there, you take these, rotate them upwards like so. You're going to see pegs. See those peg holes? They basically peg into here. All right. So we're going to unpeg the feet quick. See if we can't peg this in as easily as it looks. Or is it possibly... No, that's the right direction. And it's catching the hole, but it's one of those things where I think you have to peg it in first to kind of loosen the hole, and then you're good to go. So make sure everything's rotated correctly. Just take a look at the instructions real quick, make sure I'm still on the right track. I'm pegging the other side in. And boom. All right, about eight minutes to transform it. That's my very first time doing it, so. I know you guys not having a camera and being smarter than me, you're going to breeze through it in a couple of minutes. We're just taking a look at the alt mode here. Definitely one of those is what it is type alt modes in the sense that it doesn't have rolling treads or anything like that and you know, more display than play, but it looks good. I dig it. Not a lot of movement in the guns because they touch the bottom of those uh, leg pieces right there, but I mean the position that they're in by default looks pretty good. There's the alt mode. All right, and closing this review out. Again, this has been Iron Factory's IFEX31 Dub A. Their homage to Tarn got him amongst a variety of different Iron Factory figures. This is their Bruticus War Giant. Um, I don't remember the name off the top of my head for their Jetfire Six Shot or their G2 Sideswipe. I just got this one in today. But yeah, I'd love to show all Decepticons and things like that. But the Autobots have a little bit more variety in that mid size class and things like that. But here it is, four inches tall, awesome, awesome, awesome articulation, good looking bot mode, good looking alt mode, and just all around a fun figure. Not really going over the, um, the combination mode, 
yet because this is the first. It doesn't combine with anything. And in fact, I'll show you the instructions. Here's the combine mode. So it kind of makes the literal torso, like the abdomen area of the combined bot. So we'll do all the transformations and stuff like that for that when we get all six of them, I believe, in hand. That way it can be a full on review of the combined mode and things like that, really make that special. But yeah, again, Iron Factory IFEX31 dub A. By all means, check out the full breakdown article and gallery on kumstyle.com. Get it up sooner than later, I hope. I'll link that in the comments, the description, all that stuff, Facebook page. When that's done, as for this video, as always, like, share, subscribe. Thank you all for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.